Hey guys, this is Faith Hunter, and welcome to Spiritually Fly Sequences. Today's experience is an all-levels grounding practice recorded in Zanzibar during a healthfulness retreat in collaboration with Leva Hymns. This practice includes yoga asana, kundalini kriyas, and meditation. As always, take your time, breathe, and move mindfully. Make your way into a comfortable cross leg position. Bring your palms to your heart center. Breathe in. Feel the spine grow long. Exhale. Relax your shoulders. Feeling your hips rooted to the earth. Begin to set your personal intention for your practice, for your day. Slowly release the hands to your knees, starting spinal flexion. Inhale, heart comes forward. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Inhale, feel the chin lift, heart open. Exhale, round, belly to spine. Keep this flow going, following your own breath. Deep inhale and exhale. Hips are rooted, palms are facing down on your knees. Taking your time, opening up the spine, releasing tension, expanding your heart. Slowly sweep the arms high over your head. Palms come together, stretch your side body. Exhale, twist to your left side, lowering your left hand behind you, right hand to your knee. Again, keep both hips rooted to the mat. Breathe in, spine long. Exhale, twist gently. Take your time, slowly unravel. Sweep the arms over your head again. Exhale, twist to your right. Right fingertips rest behind you, left hand to the knee. Shoulders are right there over your hips, although your spine is gently rotating, gazing past your right shoulder. And feel free to close your eyes. Inhale, center, arms rise up, and then exhale. Slowly fold forward. Walk your hands out in front of you. Pause here for a few breaths, softening your forehead, relaxing the arms, keeping your hips rooted to the earth. Breathing in, exhale. Take your time, slowly walk your hands back in, unravel the legs, extend them out in front of you, give them a little shake. And now we're gonna move into Kundalini rows. Make little fists with your hands, elbows in line with your shoulders. On the inhale, the chest lifts up. Exhale, roll forward like a boat. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, roll forward. If you need to bend your knees slightly, feel free to do so, but keep your feet flexed so the legs are engaged. It's not about touching your toes. You're just loosening up tension in your shoulders, opening up the lower back as you get a nice stretch, and of course, awakening those hamstrings. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, roll forward like a boat. Breathing in, lift. Exhale, roll forward. You can also sit on a pillow if you need a little elevation to release any tension through your hamstrings and hips. Stay with your breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll forward. Take your time. You don't have to move fast. Just simply follow your breath. Inhale, heart up. Exhale, roll forward. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Flex your feet and breathe. Inhale now, sweep the arms over your head and then exhale, slowly fold forward in a nice seated forward fold. Again, go as deep as your body will allow. Take your time, the hands can rest on your shins, the ankles, or even grab the outer edges of your feet. Stay with your breath here, flex your feet. Keep your hips rooting back, gently folding over your legs. And if you'd like, release the hands and let them fall to the floor. Softening your chin to your chest now. Breathing in. Slowly begin to lift your body up. Sweep the feet behind you and make your way over to your hands and knees. Wrist and shoulders are in the same line. Spread your fingers wide. Adjust your shorts if you need to. Knees and hips are aligned. And starting a little cat and cow, drop the belly, lift your heart, and then exhale, round your back. 
Inhale, feel your heart come through your arms. Exhale, round chin to your chest. Stay connected to your breath here and spread the fingers wide across your mat. Thumbs in and pinky fingers to the edge. Follow the breath as your spine moves. Let's add the leg now. Lift your right leg up, inhale, lift. Exhale, round the back, knee to nose. Find your flow here. You can go as fast or as slow as you'd like, but you're kicking that leg high on the inhale. Exhale, rounding. Bring your knee in towards your chest and nose. Doesn't matter how many you do, just move with your breath. Kick that leg high, heart lifts, and then take a few little pumps. We're gonna work that tush. So right leg is straight and you're just pumping it up, little pulses, pump. And then if you'd like, feel free to bend the knee and take a few pulses, toning your buttocks muscles. Draw the belly in here, reach through your right heel. Now take that right foot, swing it all the way over to the left side and then gaze over your left shoulder. Remember, your right toes are curled under and you feel that nice, beautiful stretch through the right side of your body. Bring your right knee back in, curl the toes, straighten your legs, and we're in downward facing dog here. Pedal your feet, shift your move body, move around wherever you like, maybe even find stillness. Feel the hips rise and the heart melt. Relax your neck, allow your head to hang heavy. Inhale slowly into plank pose, bring your shoulders over your wrist. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin lower to the mat as you bend your arms. Peel your heart up for your king cobra, thighs are on the floor, heart is lifting. Draw the hips back for a little child's pose, toes are curled under. Stretch out those arches and your lower back here. Reach the arms forward, breathing in, and exhale. Make your way back to your hands and knees and let's do it all on the left side. Extend your left leg behind you, lift your leg high on the inhale, exhale, round the back. Again, take it kind of fast if you can. Inhale, lift, exhale, round, knee to nose. Find your movement and flow. Really feel that left leg lift high, exhale, belly to spine as you round in. Spread the fingers wide and then straighten your left leg. Take a little pump, pulse, pulse, pulse up a few times. Flex your foot and press your heel up and pulse. Left knee is bent. Make sure you're not sinking into those wrist and shoulders, drawing your belly into spine. Let's straighten the left leg, swing the left leg all the way over to the right side of your mat, gaze over your right shoulder, and stretch out the left side of your body. Continue to breathe deeply, draw your belly in, and then release your left leg. Make your way back into downward facing dog, legs straight, hips high. Rock gently from right to left again if you need to. Bend those knees, spread the fingers wide, relax your neck so your head hangs heavy. Both legs are straight now, breathe in, exhale, heels to the earth. Finding stillness for a moment. And then slowly inhale out into plank pose, shoulders come over your wrist. Exhale, knees, chin, and chest to the mat. Press into the tops of your feet. Peel your heart up for your cobra pose. Take a deep breath in. Hold for another second. And then slowly draw those hips back to meet your heels for child's pose. Extending the arms out in front of you. Soften your heart. Deep inhale. And exhale. Begin to lift your body up. Walk your hands back. Sitting on your heels, if this is comfortable, if not, you can always cross your ankles. You're gonna inhale, lift the arms high, exhale, drop the hips, swing your right arm behind you, take a twist. Inhale, lift onto your knees, arms high, twist to your left. Kind of keep this flow going, lifting your chest and arms as you rise into your knees, and when you twist, the arm sweeps behind you. Follow your breath, inhale, lift, Exhale, twist to your right, right arm behind you. Inhale, heart and arms lift, hips to your heels, left arm behind you, and twist. Take this a few more times, rising into your knees, twisting gently, and following your breath. Each time you inhale, you lift up. Exhale, pause. Inhale, the arms high again, hips to your heels. Gently twist to your right, 
Hips stay on your heels, sweeping your right arm behind you. Gaze past your right fingertips, left hand is resting on your right thigh. Come back to center. Hips stay on your heels, twist to your left. Left palm is open, shoulders are relaxed. Deep inhale and exhale. Inhale back to center. Give yourself a little shoulder roll if you need to. Place your hands on your lower back. Lift your hips and stretch out the front of your body if that feels good. Release into child's pose and then glide your body forward into a little cobra. Curl your toes and straighten your legs. Downward facing dog. Pressing those heels gently towards the mat. Slowly bend the knees, lower them back to the earth, bring your hips to heels for child's pose, and then roll your torso up, lift into your kneeling posture, find your little camel, hands to your lower back, heart lifts, arms extend out in front of you, glide out onto your belly, peel your heart up for cobra pose, and slowly bring your hips back, straighten your legs, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale, Exhale, spread the fingers wide, hips to the sky. Slowly lower your knees to the mat, bring your hips to your heels, lift your torso up, bring your hands to your lower back, arch and open up for your modified camel, hips to heels, arms extend out in front of you nice and slow. Glide the body forward, Find your little cobra pose, shoulders relaxed. Curl the toes, straighten your legs, a downward facing dog again. Breathing here deeply, know that any point in time you can rest in child's pose. Deep inhale, exhale. Soften the knees to the mat. Lower your hips to your heels, lift your chest, hands to your lower back, Arch and open for your modified camel. Hips back to your heels. Arms extend out in front of you in child's pose. Glide out onto your palms. Lift your heart up for cobra pose. Legs are straight. Slowly bring your hips back. Straighten your legs. Downward facing dog. Check in with your hands. Make sure you're spreading those fingers wide across the mat. Deep inhale. Exhale. Soften your knees to the earth. Bring your hips to heels. Lift your chest. Hands to your lower back kneeling posture for modified camel. Hips to your heels. Arms extend. Heart floats forward. Peel it up for cobra. Relax the shoulders. Bring your hips back towards your heels. Straighten those legs down dog. Deep inhale. Exhale. Lift your right leg high to the sky. As you exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Lower your back knee, keep the left toes curled under, lift your chest and sweep your hands alongside your hips. Feel your heart peel high, but keep your shoulders relaxed. Everything is expanding and you are open. If you'd like, slide the hands behind your head. Fingertips touch, shoulders soft. Keep the pelvis coming forward so you feel like that left thigh is flattening towards the mat. And then release your hands over to the left side. Swing your left foot to the right side of your mat. Right leg straightens. Arms lift up, right hand to your shin, a left arm over your head for gate pose. Keep the belly drawing in towards your spine and stretch out the left side of your body. Point your right toes. Take your time, release your hands back to the front of your mat, adjusting your legs so you find your way into downward facing dog. Legs are straight, breathing in. Shift forward into your plank pose, shoulders over your wrist. Lower your knees and chest or take Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, upward facing dog this time or stay with Cobra pose. Lower your knees, draw your hips back for child's pose. Give yourself a moment, breathing in as your hips sink towards your heels. 
Deep breath in. Exhale. Curl the toes, straighten your legs, down dog, and then the left leg lifts high. Slide that left foot between your hands. Give it a tug if it doesn't go all the way. Back knee to the mat. Lift your chest. Sweep your fingertips back past your hips and open your heart. Reach through your fingertips, sink your pelvis. Take another deep breath in, exhale. Remember your hands can slide behind your head right there at the base of your skull or keep the arms wide. Slowly release your hands to the right side of the mat. Spin your right foot over to the left side. Left leg straightens towards the front of your mat. Left hand to your shin, right arm sweeps over your head, palm facing down. So your chest is open to the right side and you're finding gate pose as you stretch out the right side of your body. Deep breath in, exhale, feel your right rib cage draw back. Release the hands. Walk your hands back to the front of the mat, framing your front foot, and then step back, downward facing dog. Adjust where you need to. Make your way to plank pose. Arms bend by your rib cage for chaturanga or drop your knees and chest. Upward facing dog or cobra pose. Hips soften to your heels and you find child's pose. Give yourself a moment to relax here. Take a few deep breaths in and out through your nose. Everything softens as you release. Lift your way into your hands and knees. Curl your toes and straighten the legs for downward facing dog. Right leg lifts high into the sky. Step your right foot between your hands. Lower your left knee to the mat. Sweep the arms alongside your hips once again, peeling your heart up. Soften the shoulders. Breathing in. And as you exhale now, taking a twist, left hand comes to your right thigh. Right hand softens to your left hamstring. Keep your spine long, shoulders relax as you gently twist to your right side. Breathe in, exhale. Release the hands now to the front of your mat. Draw your hips back as you straighten your right leg. Flexing your right foot, toes towards the sky. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lean forward a little more, bowing over that right thigh. If you need to, you can always grab some blocks and place them under your hands, or you can use books. Take a deep breath in, lift your chest, bend your right knee, palms to the mat, and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose, shoulders over your wrist. Arms bend for chaturanga or drop your knees and chest. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Curl over those lovely toes and then find down dog to sweep the left leg up into the sky. Step your left foot between your hands, drop your right knee to the mat. Arms sweep alongside your hips for your low crescent pose, peeling your heart up, breathing in, pelvis coming forward. Take your time, breathe in, exhale. Moving into the twist to the left side, right hand to your left leg, left hand, to your right hamstring, relaxing your shoulders and gazing over your left shoulder. Coming out of the pose, hands to the mat, framing your left foot. Draw the hips back, flexing your left foot. Exhale, release forward over your left thigh. Take your time, sink into it with each exhalation keeping your shoulders drawing away from your ears as your heart extends past your left leg. Deep inhale, exhale. Bend your front knee, take your time, palms to the mat, and step yourself back into downward facing dog, both feet at the back of your mat, heels to the earth. Deep inhale, exhale. Glide your body on out into plank pose. Arms bend by your rib cage for chaturanga. Remember, you can drop your knees. Heart lifts for cobra pose or upward facing dog. Curl the toes, hips to the sky, down dog. Take a deep breath here in down dog. Pressing your heels to the earth, fingers spread wide. 
gazing right there between your inner thighs. Breathing in, exhale. Right leg to the sky on your next breath. Slowly step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Left knee to the mat. Pelvis stays forward and remember you can stay right here for as long as you like or bend your back leg, hold here. And then take your right hand, grab your left foot. Press your left foot into the palm of your hand. Keep your chest coming forward and enjoy another twist. Your left hand can stay on the mat or you can lower your left forearm to the earth. Now, if you're placing your form on the mat, make sure your elbow and shoulder are in line. Continue to spiral and twist, sending the chest up to the sky as the pelvis sinks towards the earth. Release your hands to the mat. Walk the palms back in. Adjust your right foot, swinging it towards the middle of your mat. Curl your back toes. Pause here in a low lunge, and then straighten your right leg. Drawing your right hip back, lift your spine. Exhale, soften over your right thigh. Both legs are straight. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Keep drawing that right hip back. Inhale, lift your chest. You're still on the ball of your left foot as you fold over. And know again, you can place blocks or books under your hands. Holding here, releasing over your right thigh and enjoying that beautiful hamstring stretch. Bend your front knee, step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Move around where you need to. Find your way into plank pose, arms bend for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra pose. Curl your toes, hips to the sky, downward dog. Let's check it out on the other side. Left leg lifts to the sky, breathing in. Exhale slowly, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. It's towards the outer edge of your mat. Again, stay right here, sinking your pelvis forward, both hands on the floor. Chest is coming forward, gazing out in front of you. Bend your right leg, stay here, or add the twist. Left hand sweeps behind you, grabs your right foot. Press your foot into your palm and twist. Hold here, sink the hips and breathe. Right palm stays on the mat or lower your forearm to the earth. Now watch that left knee. Try not to let it swing out to the side too much. Right elbow and right shoulder are in line. Hips are sinking. Heart is spinning up in the twist. Breathing in. Exhale. Slowly release your foot. Palms return to the mat. Heel toe your left foot in. Slowly find your low lunge and then straighten your left leg as your left hip draws back and you fold over. Exhale into your left thigh. Breathing in, lift your chest up a little bit. You're on the ball of your right foot. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, soften over your left thigh for a forward fold. And now we hold. If you need to, you can take your right foot and step it in a little bit, but if not, hold here and bow out and over your left thigh. Breathing in, keep your left hip drawing back. Bend your front knee, palms to the earth, and step back, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Drift out into plank pose, shoulders over your wrist, arms bend, drop the knees if you need to. Up dog or cobra pose, you know where we're going. Curl the toes, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Give yourself a moment to pause. Breathe in here in your down dog. Feel all that amazing work you've done today. Thank yourself for showing up. Thank yourself for being present. Soften the knees to the mat. Bring your hips to your heels. Release the arms out in front of you and find child's pose. Be with your breath. Observe and notice all the sensations in your body. Just be. 
feel, and experience. When you're ready, slowly lift up. You're gonna cross your ankles, right leg in front of your left, and absorbing all these amazing benefits of our practice today, yeah? We're gonna move into Aura Twist. Your right palm is gonna come to your heart. Your left arm is gonna extend out in line with your left shoulder. You're gonna swing to your left and then twist to your right, switching the hands as you twist right and left. Now the thing to remember here is when you inhale, you twist to your left, you exhale, twist to your right. Inhale left, exhale right, and again. Hands come to your heart as you switch and twist. The back arm extends when you twist. Keep that flow going, inhale left, exhale right. Arms stay in line with your shoulders and hips are rooted to the mat. I like to close my eyes here so I don't get dizzy, but keep the breath flowing. Keep your mind steady and focus. Basically, you're using this aura twist to seal in all this amazing work that you've completed for your practice. Kind of like you're protecting your efforts, protecting your amazing aura, your energy, your high vibration. Inhale left, exhale right. Keep it going. If the arms get tired, you can always relax and you just slowly build up over time. Inhale left, exhale right. Watch the arms, don't let them sink. Keep them in line with your shoulders. Just imagine, sealing in your practice, expanding your aura, honoring all the work, the efforts, your time that you've cultivated on the mat. Slowly inhale, arms go wide, lift the arms over your head, hold the breath in now, and then exhale, release the hands. Inhale, lift the arms up, pause, hold the breath, and then exhale, hands come down towards your heart. Inhale, sip it all in, reach your arms high, hold the breath, and then exhale, let it out. Thumbs come to your third eye, your heart, Pause here and breathe, hands right at your heart center, honoring all that you are in your most powerful and divine way. You are brilliant, you are beautiful, you are amazing. Deep inhale, exhale. Reconnecting with your personal intention that you set in the beginning of your practice. Slowly release your hands to your knees. As we come into a seated meditation, index fingers and thumbs touch. Palms are facing down. Spine is long, breathing in, exhale, shoulders soften. If you need to, you can always place a blanket or a pillow under your hips for comfort. Sit up tall. Relax your shoulders, breathe in, and as you exhale, feel that sense of comfort and ease. Feel that expansion, openness, and connection to the earth that you cultivated in this practice. Give yourself time to absorb all the benefits of this experience, knowing that you are rooted, grounded, and connected to your highest divine self. Be with your breath, be with your body, feel, experience, and slowly settle in to your seat. If your mind gets distracted, come back to your breath, inhale, and exhale.
Stay where you are for as long as you'd like, but when you are ready, take a deep inhale, exhale, slowly open your eyes. Namaste. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and of course subscribe so you can receive more of my yoga, meditation, and lifestyle tips. You can also find and connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, where I am spiritually fly. And of course, you can find me on Twitter, where I am Fake Country Yoga. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me here. And you know, we are in this together. So let's continue to get spiritually fly. Fans are go give me a trouble. Bring the press up, boy, them hand at the gravel. And you them know.